I got is a fourth temp obstacle season. <laughs> There's Nick. It's the only reason. See Nick walking away. He's the only reason why I'm here at Granby for the second time. It's like a dream come true. I'm so appreciative. And I'm also appreciative just to take a couple of minutes to film this 70, uh, 78 Lincoln Versailles. And it's funny to actually see this. I saw this car yesterday when it started to piss rain for like the middle of the afternoon and pretty much kibosh the rest of the day for the show. But I actually filmed one of these at Nick's Garage. Also the same excellent condition. It was gray. It was years ago. I don't know, 2018 or something. And uh, same original perfect condition. And, and yesterday in the car corral, there was a Ford Granada, 1979, which I guess you could say was the base cheapest version of this. And not exactly Ford's finest hours, but I mean, still, uh, for a guy who's uh, 47 years old, I grew up with cars from the 70s, 80s. So they're a big deal for me, even if the quality wasn't amazing. But where American cars lacked in quality overall, they were great compared to foreign cars in terms of powertrains such as this car which probably has a 302 i think some of them might have had or might be a 351 because it is a luxury model this car is just exquisite this car is like brand brand new never been driven in the rain it, it looks like even it's out freaking standing has your typical lincoln styled wheels i mean look at this lighter colored interiors i was watching recently a episode with Derek Vice Grip Garage and he got one of these running and it was just a total rock box piece of shit and just you know really need to uh, to see that nevertheless for a car that's so obscure in a, in, a, in a time when people are goo goo gaga over muscle cars look at that we're right on the uh, dividing line between the all the cars and the uh, the vendors of again if I didn't mention it this is the largest classic car show in Canada it was neat this car too because it wasn't a full-size car in terms of the sense like other cars like a Caprice or Electra or whatever Bonneville Cadillac and and it was a product of its time and a competitor with the Cadillac Seville really you know God this car looks like it has 12,000 miles on it I'm not kidding you I would not be surprised just amazing it's not worth much but anybody who's a collector and people have money and they're looking for cars that are in mint condition and restored you don't do anything to them this is it this is exactly what they look for even if it's not a highly revered car or high quality i love that old school blue my god it's got a floor shifter in it for christ's sake i mean look at those seats i mean that granada i filmed which oddly enough i didn't realize until i watched the video it actually belongs to a friend of mine the one that was in the car corral Opera lights, vinyl top. Just amazing. They only made these cars four years. This just was not a high success. The Seville was more of a success. But maybe it's also because it was a derivative on the Granada and the Monarch. And also because... Uh... Sorry, I'm trying to think. I lost my train of thought. But anyway, hey, listen. Thank you for watching. I just want to see what this uh, plate says here. Oh, I don't know what the hell that is. I think that's a collector thing. Very nice. So, there you go, guys. You fellow boat enthusiasts. There's a beautiful hers. I think I probably filmed this car. Anyway, bye-bye.